In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the MTDVAT feature. When you first click on the MTDVAT feature, the Rhino app will ask you for details of your accounting period so it can connect the app to HMRC. This is very simple and requires just a few steps to be followed. To provide your financial year details, use your current VAT period end date to determine what financial year dates you need. Once you've entered the date, click Save. The app will now begin to connect to your HMRC account using your VAT registration number. If you haven't yet entered your VAT registration number, the app will automatically take you to the system defaults page where you can enter your VAT registration number and also the VAT scheme which applies to your business. Once your VAT registration number is in the system, click on Connect. After successfully connecting to your HMRC account, HMRC will now ask you to grant authority to the app to access your VAT account so you can submit your VAT returns. Please click on Continue and enter the additional information requested by HMRC. The app will now continue to retrieve your VAT account details. In this example, we've made previous submissions already, which are displayed in the, under the Submission section. Also, if any money is owed to HMRC, you will see these detailed under the Payment section. To submit your return, click on the Calculate for the VAT period you wish to submit. When completing your VAT return, you can use either the bridging feature, which allows you to populate your VAT return using your own spreadsheet, or allow the app to automatically populate the VAT boxes using the app invoice and expense features. For the purpose of this video, we're going to use the bridging feature to submit our VAT return. To do this, you first need to download the bridging template by clicking the download button. Once downloaded, click on the spreadsheet. This will open the VAT data input template. Copy the worksheet and open your own spreadsheet with your business VAT transactions as follows. Insert a new worksheet. Make sure you call the worksheet summary and also make sure it's the first worksheet in the spreadsheet. Once this is done, copy and paste the template. Finally, you just need to fill in the box numbers on the worksheet. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to complete box one and box six with our sales income. Once done, you can save the spreadsheet. Now go back to the app and click on the plus button to upload your completed template. You should now see the VAT box is completed. If they all look correct, you just need to click on the declaration checkbox, followed by the finalised process. The submission is now complete. Thank you for watching the video.